Hey folks, I'm Zavian Glory and welcome to a first look at a new game. This is Second Front, published by Microprose and developed by Hexdraw. Uh, thanks to David Pesache for the key for this game. Um, I've played through this tutorial and had a bit of fun with it. So decided to have a first look and let you see what this is all about. Um, so obviously World War II, uh, you can play three factions, the Germans, Russians and Americans. And tutorial is um, covers a lot. Covers obviously the the, the mechanics of the game, um, but there's a few things you still need to figure out by yourself. But overall, uh, works well. Um, like this garage option. We're going to have a look at this before we actually go into the game. So this lets you compare uh, vehicle types. So we could do that. Uh, come over here. Say go to the Russians. Get the T60, and up at the top here, you can see a range of information. You can actually see some of the history of the, the development or information on the vehicle. Uh, you can see the armor ratings, and then in here, uh, I've lost it now. There's a slider for range, there it is down the bottom. So if you change the range slider, it, doesn't, it does eventually show you the difference it makes to penetration percentage chance. So that's a fun little feature. Uh, exits over here. Let's get back. Uh, I'm just going to jump into a scenario. So, oh no, actually, let's not. Let's, before I do that, something that I thought was fantastic. Um, into the workshop, you've got presumably different scenarios and some of them are intriguing so straight away Kelly's Heroes right at the top I've had to go and download that for a look at later um, but there's other things like um, a guard's attack there's uh, somewhere down here we've got Steiner's Men which obviously is fictitious there it is down here I had to download that one as well um, and uh, yeah, Pavlov's House as you'd expect things like that so Quite a few scenarios. I don't know if these are official uh, or if it's already people that have got on to developing their own scenarios. But for now, we're going to just go in and play one of the standard scenarios. Um, Piscov Factories. That sounds good enough. Let's just go ahead and do that. I don't know how many. So there's a dozen scenarios. I don't know whether these would unlock as you complete them or if they're just locked at the moment. I should have said the game is um, it's due to be released on the 31st of January, so just a couple of weeks away, really, at the time I'm recording this. Uh, so, overall view of the map there. Uh, and the hist history in July 7th, 1941, a gap opened between the 8th and 27th armies, the Russian armies, Soviet armies, which the 1st Panzer Division exploited, dashing towards Pskov. The Red Army had little to stop the Germans, but attempted to move the 111th and 118th Rifle Divisions in to defend the thousand-year-old city. They were severely delayed in the march because roads were clogged by retreating Soviet troops and masses of terrified civilians. Logistics and communications were hopelessly entangled and the crowded roads that were constantly under attack from the Luftwaffe. The disorganised divisions were all that stood against the 1st Panzer Division taking Pskov. Uh, so actually we get to see uh, there's forces on both sides. Okay, so we start off with two second lieutenants and sergeant, I would imagine. Two sergeants. Another two leaders come in. Um, anyway, at turn, at turn five, turn six, these guys come in. All right. And that's just the history again. Okay, so we'll go ahead, we'll try this scenario. That's the same information once again. So, I don't know what it was about the game that intrigued me um, because the visuals aren't my normal cup of tea. I like more realism uh, normally, but there was something about this 
and I thought, no, I really want to look into that. It's similar to games like, um, I suppose, Tigers on the Hunt and Squad Leader and things, um, in terms of the, uh, the turn order. So if we look up here, we've got um, a line of sight tool. Uh, obviously, I don't want to resign. Help. Rotate the map. Uh, building level indicator. We've got temperature, which I've not figured out the use for yet. Maybe that's to do with when we get into armour in more details. Victory points, settings. Um, and then this is the turn order here. We've got move and fire phase. Uh, and then fire phase, which essentially is um, defensive fire. Then escape phase, which is more about routing and uh, retreating units. Advanced phase, advance phase. You can move another one hex, which is pretty standard. And then the end turn phase is where uh, recovery happens in terms of trying to recover uh, routed or uh, yeah broken units right so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine sections over there with second lieutenant and sergeant and over here one two three four five six one, two, uh, is that there's two in there yeah oh well there's a Another second lieutenant and a captain here. Right. Um, victory points or victory hexes. No, actually, I think if I if I just had one unit in here and there are no Russians, I think I get to take the whole factory. I don't think we need to be actually in that hex. But anyway, um, start off with seventy victory points here. Value you can see it up in the top right uh, up here. Uh, and this one's obviously 50. The victory points that you earn drop by 10 per turn. So there is a time limit on... Well, I don't know actually. I suppose we'll find out in this game. I don't know if it drops to zero. I think it might drop down to 10 and that's the minimum number of victory points that you get when you do eventually take it. Um, 100 points up here. Right, anyway, let's move out. You do get hidden units. Uh, actually, there's a thing. Why can I see all these guys? Is there a fog of war setting? No, I don't think there is. This just looks like the standard. All right, so can't uh, turn off unit visibility there. Okay, well, let's start up here. Uh, leaders, as you'd expect, give... Um, bonuses to movement range and also to uh, accuracy when you're firing and probably to well you can rally troops um, might help you to avoid being broken as well um, and movement is go to the hex you want to move to right click and then in fact we could do it a step at a time let's do that um, do i want to move here Yes, well, these units aren't hidden. There might be hidden units in here, but we're going to take a risk just for the fun of it. So let's we can move here, right click, and then you choose between walk or run. So if we run and then carry on the rest of the way. So movement is fairly simple. I'm going to send, what do we have here? We've got, a, is that a major and a captain? Or is it a captain and a lieutenant? Lieutenant. Um going to have yeah, you head up there. Do you try and get in there? I should have maybe checked that hex uh for the line of sight. I don't think anybody up there can see this area. Um so the second lieutenant you're going to head up there with those troops. And the captain. You're going to get into this building here. Uh, 
And over here, what do we have here? We've got a sergeant, Feldwebel, and Lieutenant Wright. Okay, I think the lieutenant's going to take a few sections around here. Your line of sight, you can only actually see within the building. That's nice. Um, let's move you here. That should protect you from, if they do move forward, you should still be only visible from there. And these sections are going to have to hustle to try and keep up. Let's move you up there. The game does, a tutorial recommends not stacking units for obvious reasons. If they've got machine guns or mortars, if they can only hit one section, they can do less damage. Right, I'm going to send two sections over here. Uh, yeah, I'll send you both to there for now. Maybe put one in each of those buildings. And that leaves me with one, two, three sections here, right. Uh, that's just <laughs> ambient noise. Uh, we can get into that building. Those guys there can't see us. So if there's nothing actually hidden in there, we can get right in there. With some of the units. Let's have you run up to there. You can get into that forest. You're going to run up there. And the sergeant, you're going to take your men up there. Okay, we don't have any machine guns or anything. In fact, I'm thinking back to the intro, we don't get any armour or machine guns or mortars. You do have them in the game. I don't know if it's off-map artillery. I haven't, didn't see a tutorial for that. Maybe that'll come in later. Anyway, that's the end of our move phase. Let's move on. AI fire, should be none, hopefully. No escapes, nobody's routed or broken. And advance. Right, so yeah, let's get you in here. You there. You get into those trees. You get in. These guys should all be fine out here, unless they move in to that point. Maybe they can see from there. They can, but there's nothing we can do about that anyway. You come up behind the trees there. I'll have you head in there. And the question mark over these guys means that they are currently concealed, which is handy. Captain, head up there. You come forward. We'll send you up behind these buildings. Let's have you join in there too. Right. No melee. Uh, move on to the Soviet turn. Yeah, so recovery in melee all happens during the, the end turn, as you can probably tell. So it's, it's fairly slick, the turn order. Um, I think I do prefer having these things that are grouped together, lights of recovery and uh, melee. If there's no need for player intervention, then just let it run itself. Okay, so they're abandoning those, what are they? Factories at the rear they are. Interesting. I suppose it said the Russian divisions were, the Soviet divisions were um, rushing to get in to try and defend. Okay, our fire phase, I don't think we can see anything from here. 
much. Oh no, uh, no we can't. But we can see, but I guess they're out of range. Do we have, yeah, range is eight. Uh, you can see that down here in the bottom right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that clever AI. Right, okay, no firing. I'm wondering now if they're going to advance out of this building. If I've got two sections in there, might they think that's weak? Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, these guys are deciding against abandoning that factory. In the end term, and as you saw, the, or you might have seen, the victory points dropped from 70 to 60 there. 50 to 40 and that should be down to 90. Back to our firing move phase. Okay, you've got no line of sight outside of this building, so we'll have you... You head across to there. Just for now. I think we're going to try and swing around uh, so that we're coming at them from both sides. You can get units to route if you uh, break them and prevent them from moving. So, and here we've got crawl. So these guys, um, as I said earlier, they're concealed. If there was a Soviet unit there and we crawled into this, we stay concealed, um, which reduces their chance to hit. I don't know how they see us if we're still concealed. Obviously, that's a game mechanic. Maybe I've just not understood it properly, but uh, in the tutorial it tells you, you know, you can crawl into the uh, one hex, staying concealed, but I did get fired on. Anyway, these guys here, you can see into those two forest hexes. So we'll move you to there, just at the walk. Two units here. We'll bring you both in there for now. And right, you can see that hex as well. So I think we'll maybe just bring our lieutenant. I don't want to put him in this building actually. Maybe I should have moved some of these guys in there. Give us a bit of flank and fire, but then they would need to come right to the edge. To do that. No, I think we'll just bring the lieutenant in here. And here. Get those guys back there. Let's try and keep them from reinforcing this factory. And the uh, line of sight. Ah, so we don't want to head out there, obviously. We want to stay. In there. And if you hit tab, you can see inside the buildings. So they could see in through the windows at the edge there. So we'll take you and have you head down here for now. Well, the captain's going to head in there and just provide overwatch at the front of the building. You can come up here. And in here, this lieutenant, you're going to head in. They would see you. I don't want to take fire at all if we can avoid it. So you just crawl in there. And you would actually like to get you up into that building. These guys can see in there. Hmm, that hedge doesn't provide cover. Hmm. 
I think we'll take our time in here. Now they can see there too. Uh, let's just move you to there. Yeah, because you can actually overwatch into the back of the building there. Right, that will do. That's everybody moved. So we can move on to the fire phase. There's music playing, but it's very uh, muted. I need to wait until I can interact with this options menu. Hopefully I can do that now. Yep, uh, let's turn up the music just a bit. Right, now these guys uh, Yeah, they can advance into there Staying concealed I'm just going to do this with everybody We'll leave the captain there I want one of you in here And nobody can see you from there so we'll view advance into move into that building next time. Yeah, those guys are covering the forest. I think what we'll do we'll send one section in here. We'll do the same down here. I'll keep you moving up through this building. Yeah, that's okay. Do I want to move anybody else there? No, I don't. We're fine. Let's move on to the melee phase, which there is none in turn and then recovery. And then the Soviets get to move. And some of this seems to take an awful long time. There's, given the number of units that there are um, on the map, and the fact that none of them are broken. So there's a miss there because we've got concealment. Um, same there. We'll get to see some of the percentage hit chances eventually when we fire ourselves. Right, now defensive fire phase, if you want to call it that. We can't see anything from there or there. So these guys, with a lieutenant, could shoot up here. Right, so now you can see that we've got a, a lieutenant and a squad or a section firing. Uh, we're firing at long range and there's a hedge providing poor cover. Uh, so we've got 5% chance of uh, uh, and we're aiming um, Aiming at the enemy, we've got five percent chance of breaking the leader, six percent chance of breaking the uh, squad. So fire, see what happens. That's a miss, not unexpected. You could fire in there, and again here we've got stone buildings give excellent cover, so we'll get very little chance of hitting. And you can return fire in there. And again, stone building. But we're firing at half range, still very difficult shot. Uh, you can see that the, there's the half value in there when we're firing at long range. Anyway, keeps them occupied. Uh, let's move on then. No escapes, no melee.
Yeah, but um, I don't know. I would have thought if you have like all units escape set to zero, it would be a quick check. I don't know obviously what goes on behind the scenes. I'm not a games designer. And obviously there's no fire available or possible when units advance. Right. These guys have pulled back. I wanted to see. Right, so they're line of sight. They can't see outside at all now, which is good. Hmm. Who do I want to do this? Sounds familiar. Um, and you can only see one hex. Just trying to see where we can get to. Right, so you're going to walk up here. You're going to be visible to those guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But probably out of range. So, yeah, you head up here. I want to try and get all these three units onto them. Well, they just come straight forward then. Yeah, let's do that. You crawl to there, you to there. And up here, we're going to have these guys. You can get in there without being fired on. So do that at the walk. You could get in. I want you. Yeah, you can go that way. It doesn't matter. You get into there, and I think we'll send the lieutenant with you. And so we're going to have units around there, and then we can come in behind to get those guys. I think we may actually see if we can't send. These guys are up to start crossing over that bridge. Let's go. Run. And you can run through them. No, oh, he took fire. Oh, you have withstood it. Good job. Okay. Now these guys have pulled back. You. Uh, what have I done there? I don't know. So. Oh, that's it. Is that the range they can get to? I think they can move to. If they run. The flashing hexes. So they can see into this hex. You can move to there. Yeah, you do that. You get in here. And they might actually get you inside there. Yeah, you come in. And we've got you. Can you see anything in there? I don't think you can. Let's see, if you're up there, those pipes block you from uh, their line of sight. Let's have you come up to there. That's all good. You can fire at them. So go ahead and do that. You never know, we might, might be able to pin them.
they've got a leader with them. I was going to send one section up into this building, but I don't want them to be attacked in melee. So I think what we'll do instead, uh, send one section in there. I don't know what th that signifies. I don't know if there's a manual provide, ah, ah, rookie mistake. Move into there and then advance into there. Okay, so well, that's what you're going to do. You're going to just crawl. Uh, and we'll see if these guys are able to recover eventually. So has everyone moved? We're still a couple of turns away from our reinforcements. Let's go into the next phase. I don't think there will be any fire because the units that could see my troops fired already. And obviously there's no uh, there will be an escape over here. Into the nearest cover it looks like, and that's good because they've routed and where the captain is? No, Lieutenant. Right, so you can now advance in there. You can stay put for now. And is it time? I was going to move them in there, but I don't think I want to do that. Again, I'm just looking at where I want melee combat to occur. Let's have you double check. Yeah, so you can't see anything. Those guys can only see into there, essentially. You can come down here, you in there, and you're going to have to just stay put. That's fine. You guys stay there. You can all stay. These guys here, I'm going to pull them back. I want to bring them back into this building. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring them back. Just in case we need more support in here. That's us. Let's see if this unit rallies. Okay, so these units down here are all concealed again. They've failed to rally. Not good. But they do recover, uh, so they're not routing any longer. But they still need to recover properly before we can order them about again. Right, they reposition, but they moved before they fired, so that reduced their, chan reduced their chance to hit. We get to fire at them, they pull back. Uh, charging forward now. Alright, fire phase. You are going to shoot at them. You can see the percentage chances increase now. Uh, you do get, uh, it seems that you get aiming bonuses, that's unfortunate. In here, you can't see them. Missed again. Right. I don't think anybody else can see the other units. Right, okay. Move on. We're going to have to go in and initiate our hand to hand combat now. The why did the leader route? Did that happen in that fire phase? Or did he break because <laughs> panic soldiers ran towards him? His job's to stop them. Okay. We need to 
take this in a bit of a hurry. Okay, we're going to try and attack in here. First off, uh, so we'll have this section. It's concealed, so we're going to crawl. They didn't even fire. You're concealed also, you can crawl in there. We'll bring these guys in too. They didn't take any fire. We'll try and shoot at them. Finding at half range, but we moved. Well, good work, you pinned them. Nice. And you. Let's just have you crawl a bit further forward. I don't think you're going to be able to see up there. No. And then here we're going to do something similar. So start off with this section up to there. They spotted them, but obviously missed. Do that. And I'm going to be doing the same, trying to get into these guys here. I was hoping to make a triggered fire, then I would have brought one of these guys in. We've got two units in there, yeah. We're going with two and the leader. I think I need to risk bringing these guys up to join in. Ah, damn it. Okay. Don't think it was worth the risk. I could have brought them actually. They've already fired, they can't fire again. Okay, so everyone moved. We don't have reinforcements yet. Uh, we can't do anything up here, they're still broken. Uh, lieutenants. The lieutenant's able to move. Let's bring you up here. We'll let them fend for themselves. And you can get in and support these guys. Uh, can you hit them? You can, but just try and break them instead. More pinned. Right. Fire phase. Missed, and again, because of the concealment and cover it provides. Ah, crap. Right, so these guys will probably come back in here. I think we'll just forget about that building. We're going to just try and recover our troops and hold this one instead. And then that provides flank cover for in here. So now we're at the advanced phase, the fun phase. Let's view. Uh, jump in here. So there's an ambush chance uh, for the uh, Germans and the Russians. And then there's a close combat chances. So you're going to advance in. Captain, you're leading these troops in as well. You can see how that affects the close combat percentages. You come in too, just to make absolutely sure. And I think we're actually going to just bring these guys in and put the squeeze on them once that's taken out. So they're advanced uh, over here. Yeah, let's pull you back down into there. We'll make an attack in there. 58, 58. And here it puts up to 97 and 28. And as well, and the sergeant in there. Now up here, 83 and 58% there. I think it's probably worthwhile throwing those guys in. And we'll bring you back up here. Uh, 
That sounds good to go. Let's see what happens. Suspense is killing me. Right, we'll get an ambush. The Germans were killed in, uh, the Soviets were killed in action. Good stuff over here. We've got a new leader, the Soviets killed in action. And this other one, again, we get an ambush, we get a wound, they got killed in action. But there's still somebody in there. Are we going to see any retreating here? Oh no, the escape's already happened. Um, strange that we end up with... Ah, they've, of course they shot into the hex that we were grouped up in. This over here's beginning to fall apart a wee bit. Yeah, I'm surprised that the Soviets just stayed in that hex. Uh, can we shoot at them? If I shoot with them, I can't. I guess we. Oh no, there's still Soviets here. No, it's just corpses. Um, yeah, so I guess we can't shoot into a hex with friendlies in it because they're still involved in melee combat. But we should be able to shoot here. Not great chances, but. Oh, well done. And you can maybe finish the job? No, you missed completely. Nobody... Oh, we've got one pin unit in there. You can have a pop. That's it. Okay. Move on to the escape phase. Let's see what happens now here. I think everyone in here is going to be running in different directions. Yeah, they run out. They're routing. All right, what about over to the left here? I guess that's still happening. We'll, we'll get melee combat again. Melee phase. Should go in our favour. Everybody dies. Seems a bit extreme, but they all, f they all fought to the last man. Lots of failed checks. We have new reinforcements. Uh, okay, more infantry. Just in time, maybe fend off those guys. Uh, we're at the moving fire phase, so let's have. Let's have you just stay put. Can't see out there. We're just going to sit tight for now. Uh, yeah, if you move up, they could fire, and then other units might fire at you. So you potentially you can take double the amount of. Fire. Um, if you do move, I think we might bring you over here though, because these units, some of them are broken, the leader's not. So we will send this section up there. Crawl. Oh, you can't see from there. Was it there? Oh well, fair enough. That's all okay. Big pile of corpses in there. We'll have this platoon here come up and hold this factory. So let's get them on the move. Lieutenant Wolf, Mark II, you get up here. What was that? Oh yeah, you can, yeah maximum stacking limit is three units per hex, so another Two arrived in there after these guys moved out. And we'll just move them all in a bunch. Since there's no risk of enemy fire. And up here. Right, we've got new leader, Corporal Schmidt. You take 
these guys come out to here, just at the walk. And then Sergeant Kruger, you can run. Now there were enemy units up there. I don't think they're still there. I think they came across down into that area. So we'll do all that and yeah, you guys here are going to come up and help defend that factory. So Major, you bring Yeah, you come across to there and again we get some units arrive here. Going to send two of them up. Try that again. Two of them in here and you in there. You, we will, let's get you up, yeah, up to there, and let's see if we, oh jeez, jeez Louise, um, yeah, I never thought for a minute that would be in range, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in fact I never even thought it would be in line of sight, ah, oh, that's sneaky, that's not right, how can, how can, Um, I wish I could figure out how to take off that uh, flashing. Right, so it's different. Oh, yeah, obviously, it's different. See, you're able to see all this area in here if you're this guy, not if you're these guys. But obviously, they shot through. Must have shot through that window and that window, and then right in the back of the head. So that's us moved and fired. Let's get on to their fire phase, which shouldn't be any. Escape, these guys and these guys. And advance. Almost missed that. I think... I think I'm going to advance you back here. So that they need to come in to these sorts of exits where we can get multiple fire on them. Ah, you could move in there, potentially shoot at them. So do so. Two regular units. I thought there was a leader in there. No, the leader's here. He's moving up to there. Those guys are all done for. Up here. Just do that. And you carry on. Right. Turn six is when they get their reinforcements. They being the Soviets. That is so bloody annoying, all those troops killing each other there. That's not annoying, they all rallied and these guys failed. But you'd have thought we were, they were so outnumbered. And I think the initial melee combat went so much in our favour to then have them turn it around, I suppose it's a heroic last effort. And then I'm pulling back to try and defend here. These guys didn't move close enough for us to fire on them. I think, um, no, I think I may actually merge them up. You, I thought you could see them from there. I'm sure that's why I moved you there. Anyway, looks like I can't see anybody. Right. Next phase then. These guys should run, they're escaping. No. 
Not sure what the mechanic is for escape. That's good. I thought they would have stayed out there and provided overwatch, so we can get into that building now. And they rally. Right, move and fire phase. You, 13%, you're the same. What have we got in there? We've got three sections and a second lieutenant. I think we'll need you guys to come charging in and help. So we're just going to fight this out just now. Oh, fantastic. was not expecting that as a first result. I missed there though. No, they withstood it. Leader, you're going to walk up here and then have a pop at them. You miss. You can't see them. We'll just have you come and join in here. I'll just try and break these guys utterly. Missed. Right. Um, right, it's saying there that you can see. These guys couldn't see from there. They can't see in. Shift you up there anyway. You're just going to... Yeah, move to there. You got to head in there. Now we had a somebody rallied. You did. You get into there. And up here, we'll have you get up to that point, and then we'll bring you guys into the building just there. Now you can come up all the way inside as far as you can go. You can actually get up here too. Excellent. Oh, because you've got a leader as well, I'd forgotten that. Okay, happy enough with that. Now their fire phase, they don't have any. Well, they do in here, but they missed. Just that single pinned section. Escape here. I don't know, is it possible? Not the surrender, killed in action. Because they couldn't get... Uh, the only route out was blocked off by the pipes. So that's... They couldn't move there because that unit's adjacent and the same here. So now we can advance. And we'll have... You move in. And I think that's all we can do, actually. Let's have you advance up to there. How many units have I got? Two units plus the leader. We'll throw you in there as well. You come in here. You advance up to there. Right, you, I want in that position, and we'll have you there, and you can both come up behind there. Sergeant, in there. The corporal, in there, right, okay. That's us. Melee phase in here. It should be straightforward. They're pinned and heavily outnumbered, and we have a leader. There we go. Recovering is any recovery over here. Mm, 
Looks like it's not. There's their reinforcements arrived. So we should hopefully be able to move these guys ah, from there as well. Yeah. If we can get some guys up to outflank them. Well, they should move across the open ground up there. I don't know if we will. Can you see anybody? No. No, too far inside the building. Same up here. Right, no firing. And no escapes either. What do you. Do? I thought you were heading back across the bridge. Change your mind. So I think I need to try and just go and take them out as quickly as we can rather than try and hold these reinforcements off. Anyway, right, so you've recovered enough. You could actually get up into there. But I think we'll just move you straight here. And do the same there. Just make sure that that's not in their line of sight. You, let's get you across to here. And I want one of you in there, the other up to there. You come up the outside. And over here. Do I want to go and rush them? Don't know what this symbol means. I haven't seen that in the tutorial. Let's see if we can do some shooting. So we'll take one section. Oh, we've got, yeah, I think we'll use these guys to attack. Um, if you crawl in there. Fair enough. You crawl out here. Can you not see from there? I guess you've two hedges in the way or something. Right, we're going to send these guys out one at a time, one at a time, come on, be sensible. Okay, they're broken, running out the door. Can you get up there? No, they're, they're going through the same hex. Let's have... Oh, right, we've moved you already. Take one of these units and bring them up here. You can go and join in there now. Major Schmidt, you can walk up there. You follow on, right. And you come out to there. Probably walking's okay. And I don't want you, I want you and you. Carry on up to there. We may as well fire. See if we can't take them out without the need for melee. That's a hell of a good hedge in there. Ok. 
Okay, leader's pinned at least. And up here. Yeah, you run forward. You can walk to that point, staying concealed. Right, that's fine. Have I moved these guys? No, I've not. They're staying back there, it looks like. Oh no, I have moved them. Of course I have. They're out of range though, you can't shoot them. Okay. Let's end this phase. These guys should just retreat into the factory there. These guys are just pinned, and now we attack. And I hope they don't wipe each other out again. Ah, uh, oh no, we don't have a leader. We've already got the two leaders in there. So if you advance up to there, you in here. We can't get any more bodies in here. Oh, we could get one, I think, yes. You advance out to there. Now, you stay there for now, just in case these guys keep routing. You across there. And then now, uh, you need to go there so we can get down into that hex. But that's, that's us done. So end the phase and see the melee. Oh my god. One section and a pinned leader took out three sections and two leaders. I have issues with that. I don't I, that cannot possibly happen. Um Yeah, losing all those troops in that sort of situation is a wee bit annoying. Because theoretically, so the same can happen up here. I've got all these sections. We go and melee attack those guys, and uh, it could be mutually mutual destruction. And I don't get to take the uh, victory point. Let's just fire off everything that we've got in there. Don't think you can see. You can't see either, neither can you. You can't see there, which is unfortunate. Right, into the fire phase. These guys should stay put. They get to advance if they like. Uh, no melee this time. <laughs> and there might never ever be again when you get that sort of outcome. Right, moving fire. Uh, you crawl into there. Let's have... Corporal. Right, no, let's just send. No, oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Send everyone. Crawl in there. You. 
We advance next time and take them out. You can shoot at them again. I'm going to have these guys come up. Yeah, okay, you're going to come up here. Well, maybe just a one of you up there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can just about reach there. But actually, I should have had you shoot down here. Excellent work. And now we can do this. You run to there, you run to there, and they should surrender. Unless you get killed by these fuckers up here. Apologies for the clatching. Uh, you come in there. And we just have you group up together. Can you see them? Nope. Can you? You can. And you could have all shot in there. You could have taken them out and saved those guys. If you'd managed to hit them. Of course you've moved. So Icarus is down, but there you've broken and pinned them. Fantastic. Surely now that means we win that melee. I'd done that before I moved that section. Fishes were fishes. They surrender. Uh, he's making a beeline for the factory. Still somebody in there, so we need to finish this off. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, oh, so I hadn't actually moved them in. That's what the problem was. And you can't get in because there are too many of them. So you can just advance down to there and shoot at anybody that comes out from here. Up here, let's view into there. You're going to head down here. And we'll have you join in there, just in case you get to shoot at anybody up here. Okay, end of turn. Hopefully this melee goes in our favour. 97% chance against 8. And we managed it. Good job. And that's us taking all three victory hexes, and we have a victory! Okay, the Red Army defence of the Peskov area was doomed by the breakdown of logistics and communications. Basic needs for the troops could not be met. Although the Soviet infantry had good defensive terrain to fight off the Germans, their morale broke, leading to a rout and surrender. Peskov fell without much of a fight. I'll tell that to some of our melee victims. So there we go. A nice victory. Um... So, yeah, quite an enjoyable game. As I said, the, the graphics didn't appeal to me, but the gameplay itself, for the most part, uh, avoiding the obvious, um, the gameplay for the most part is fun. So, I do recommend the game. I reckon I'll come back uh, with some more videos of this. Uh, the campaign isn't available at the moment, so I might uh, do that when I uh, come back and play a campaign when it's available. Uh, but for now, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers!